Hello and welcome to tonight's video and tonight's video is to give you the one key that uh, gets you out of hell. The one key that um, will bring you out of your hell of what you're experiencing and I know it's hell because I've been there and um, this one key is the one key, the one single thing that changed things around for me and is the origins of what I'm doing for you and why I developed the pain-free method in the first place, what that's all about. That's the original key. Um, I was uh, heavily bulimic a number of years ago and I was bulimic for about 10 years and it was uh, hell on earth. It was a trap. I felt trapped and it was all consuming. And, you know, it started as a solution to my problems at the time. And uh, it seemed like a really good idea. But um, as time went on, the uh, imbalances that were going on in my body were getting quite extreme. And it, the bulimia itself began to be all consuming. And I started to be a bulimic person. And my behavior was a bulimic person secrecy and denial and, and hiding. And it was uh, pretty, pretty damn dreadful. And I, I wouldn't have missed it on my worst enemy. I, I felt trapped and I, I couldn't get out. And uh, this went on for about 10 years. So it was pretty awful, and which mo I find that most chronic illnesses do go on for quite some time. And uh, like my bulimia, I find that most people that are suffering with chronic long-term illness, it's not the actual illness, it's not the physical condition that you're dealing with is the actual problem. It's actually um, a soothing or, or, a, or a, um, a softening or a, or a denial or a hiding or a coping mechanism of some sort for something a lot deeper. So the actual illness itself or the bone condition or the blood condition or whatever it is you're suffering is not the actual problem. It might seem like it is and you know to focus on that as if that's the thing you've got to get rid of and fix is is the kind of Western way, isn't it? Fix the problem and everything's fine. But I think, you know, but if you're looking at someone like me with my kind of natural methods, I'm pretty sure that you know that that's not the real truth, that, you know, there's a bigger picture to this. So, you know, coming back to my bulimia, you know, I found that the one single key that started my turnaround was love, self-love. And this is one of the elements and I teach that I teach you in the pain-free method. And it's one of the key components. There are other things that need to be in place when you want to heal, when you want to change, when you want to heal and get your life back and clear your symptoms. There needs to be kind of structure in place. And this is, the, there are three steps of the pain-free method, but the second and third steps are the structure, the support, the network you're going to need so when you do dip and when you do your suffering does come up rise its ugly head again that the structure is in place uh, to um, subside it to clear it to get rid of it and um, so loving yourself I know you know somebody said to me recently um, oh that old chestnut <laughs> and I know that when you are in the midst of suffering dreadful pain and most people who come to me are usually in pretty constant pain, that um, it's probably the last thing that you can think of doing is to love yourself, be a bit zen, what the hell is that, I feel terrible. Well, um, when you love your, the, the, the principle is, you know, you, you are in the centre of your life, aren't you? You are in the centre of, uh, you're the one who feels what you do, you're the one who thinks the thoughts that you do. You're in you. You're in your body. There's no escaping unless you go on drugs or something. You, you, there's no escaping. You are in the centre of you. You're in the centre of your body, your thoughts, your feelings. You're in the centre of you. So the fixing is never outside of you. you. You are the whole entirety. You are the complete package of you. Your body, your thoughts, your feelings. You're the package. So the fixing never comes from outside because that would be another thing. That would be somebody else or someone's opinion or the doctor's opinion or the, 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 the medical advice. But you know how you feel and you know your experiences and you know your daily existence from moment to moment. Only you 
live in that uh, center space. And uh, the good thing about that is that you are also in the center of your power. It might not feel like that and it might feel like it's out of your control and um, you need to fix that thing or something, but uh, you, you are also in the center of your power. I can't tell you the difference, you know, this one key step that I took from 10 years of bloody hell of the blimia and um, I was fighting and I was raising hell in life and pushing and shoving and uh, I, I guess blaming other people or putting out there and you know I look for help outside I thought about going to hospitals or doctors and things but um, for whatever reason I didn't but this one key changed everything. It turned my life around. And um, as I said, this is, the, this is one of the key components I teach in the Pain-Free Method. And it's about loving yourself. Well, how did it actually happen for me? Um, it may not be exactly the same for you, but the essence is loving yourself and addressing yourself with care and love. Even if you feel disgusting or horrible or self-hate, whatever. And uh, just to remind you, you know, your, your pain is a layer of protection, of, of armory um, over something. And that's the second stage I teach you, I guide you, I help you to dig out, you know, the root causes, what's actually beneath that pain, that, those conditions that you have, because that's not the actual suffering. So how it happened for me, you know, one day, uh, well, I, I, I was full of self-hate and... Um, I thought to myself, I, I couldn't get out, I couldn't escape from this bulimia, I couldn't get out of it, it was a nightmare. So um, I thought, well, the worst thing about myself was my legs. I hated my legs. And, um, as you do, <laughs> I hate my legs. And um, uh, for some reason, so I got in my head to um, love myself. I said, okay, legs, I need your legs. Get me around, I couldn't really walk without you. I need you, legs. And... I put my hands on my legs. I thought, right, I love you. I need you. I need you. I started to connect and address with the one thing I hated the most about myself. Because, you know, if you hate yourself on any level, you hate all of you. It's all, we're all connected. You know, every cell talks to the next cell. And um, if you hate yourself on any level, all of you hate yourself. So I started to love myself. And I started to say, I love you into the mirror. I looked into my eyes in the mirror and it was really hard. I felt very embarrassed. No one looking, you know, I felt embarrassed and stupid and I don't know, really strange. And um, I looked dead in my eyes and I said, I love you. I love you. I really, really love you. And it was incredibly powerful. And from that moment, I began to heal and everything turned around. Because at the end of the day, you know, we're all energy. Your energy, what the words you say, the things you feel, the things that are around you, it's all uh, vibrational energy. It's all energy. It's not solid uh, rock and stone. It's not, even rock and stone is not solid, is it? <laughs> not really. But um, we're all molecules, accumulation of molecules all together. And um, when you uh, try to fix and cut out and operate on and throw medication at that those conditions that you're suffering, that is not really the answer. And you just cause yourself more problems because your body's now not only got to deal with your conditions, but now your body has to deal with all the medication coming in. And in my 30 years of experience as a, as a uh, complementary therapist, I have seen medication got more and more accurate, more and more powerful. And I call them, uh, is it called uh, um, in Exocet missiles? You know, the, the missiles that um, know their precise target and will not deviate from their path until they blow up their thing. Uh, Exocet missiles, is it called? And um, I've seen drugs get more and more powerful. So not only now has your body got to deal with the condition, now it's got to deal with the drugs that uh, that I see and I feel in people's bodies that uh, it causes disruptions and stops them being in balance. Your body, your mind, your soul is always looking and always coming back to balance at every second of every moment. And when you're sick, your balance is not there for some reason. And that's what I help you uh, find back to the balance through the pain-free method in very simple, straightforward um, techniques, just like the technique of loving yourself. I show you how to do that and find the right 
uh, way for you, that it's going to work for you, that it's not that old chestnut, that it's actually going to work for you. And you'll see the results. And I guide you, you know, I'm, I, I guide you piece by piece. And I know it's not easy when you start to change, but you've done yourself an enormous favour by even looking at this video or looking at my stuff or probably I'm amongst other things you've looked and tried to help yourself with. Um, so I congratulate you for even reaching out there and looking for solutions for yourself. So my, uh, my um, one word to go away with is to find a way to love yourself. And if you don't know how to do that, just look at yourself straight in the mirror and say, I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. I love you. I really, really, truly, with all my heart, with all my being, I love you. And you look at yourself, you look at your eyes, really look at your eyes, because that's where your soul is. That's the, your, you know, your eyes. Um, I studied iridology and your, your eyes, you know, eyes are the window to the, to the soul, right? But when you look at your eyes, um, they are... Um, a little map of your whole system. They're like a little solar system in there. If you look closely, if you've, if you've ever had the opportunity or the privilege of looking at your eyes really close up and see all, it's like a star system in there. And um, essentially it's, it's a, um, a snapshot of the whole of your system or everything that's going on within you on every level. So when you look at your eyes, you're really looking into your soul, you're really looking into you. And when you say, I love you, you're putting the love right into the center. And pain and suffering is not love. It's imbalance, it's hate, it's destruction, it's destroying. And when you put love right into the center, try it. You, it's no good to uh, just listen to this stuff and uh, um, intellectualizing it because that's not where the healing happens. Healing happens in action and in doing it. So give it a go after this video and do it all, every time you pass a mirror, every time you pass a reflection, Every time you say a hateful word to yourself, every time your uh, illness is rearing up, keep saying, I love you, I love you. Put your hands on the uh, condition, if, if it's like a headache or something, you can put, put your hands easily on. Put, it on your, put your hands on your heart and say, I love you, I love you. Try that for the next few days and see how you feel. And um, you'll show yourself you know, what, what's gonna happen for you. It's logical, right? It's simple and logical. So um, this, uh, I love you, self-love is part of the pain-free method and something that is, as I said, step, there are three steps in the pain-free ma method and the, two, the second and third step are more about the structure and the projection forward. So you have, um, you have uh, momentum going forward in your life because illness can feel very stuck, it can make, me feel, make you feel trapped, did me? It make make you feel trapped and stuck and and um, endlessly looking for answers and not coming up with anything on that awful treadmill. So the second part of the pain-free method is the structure and support and love and care surrounding you in cotton wool so that you can grow and expand again. You, the real you, not the sick you, the real you, that soul you. And the third stage is to propel you forward and to get that momentum going so that you're leaving behind this awful life and moving forward into a place of peace and healing and being yourself and the fullness of yourself so you're expanding again. It's going to be lovely. All you've got to do is step forward and um, book yourself a free call with me and I'll put the link below to do that if you're ready to, if you're ready to heal. You know, it's no good having a, a list, long list of things that makes you better and all the things you're supposed to be eating and doing and yogaing and everything. Um, you have to actually put it into action, go forward, and you have to feel ready to heal. Nothing's going to work unless you are ready, unless you've had enough and you're looking for answers and you want to, you're ready to change. I'm very gentle, you know, I've been through it myself, I know how it feels, so um, uh, I take you through your healing journey and so that you get it yourself, so that you have the reins and I show you how to do that so you can take off and go forward in life. And you'll find that, you know, when you are healing and feeling wonderful, you'll naturally start sharing and, and um, telling all your friends, just like Jocelyn did recently. And uh, her boyfriend had dreadful back ache and problems himself, physical problems himself. And uh, she was, she's been teaching him how to do the pain-free methods. And she cleared her back pain with the pain-free method. And, and it can happen for you. And even if you don't think it's possible, you know, I, I came from hell, hell, hell on earth. And uh, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing today. And it's possible. It completely is. And it's simple and it's sweet steps. And, you know, imagine what's your life going to be like 
without what you're what, what, what you're suffering at the moment imagine what this that is it, it is possible it is possible to have that peaceful uh, lovely space and just being yourself and uh, putting yourself out there in the world as yourself as a he- healing healed healthy person it is possible so book yourself on a free call or come into the pain-free group you need to click join to come into the pain-free uh, private group and I teach you the different elements of the pain-free method in there as well okay have a lovely evening I love you I love you yes I do I love you very much look at yourself in the mirror and give yourself that love because Uh, Pain is not love. It's the opposite of love. So give yourself that love. Give yourself that healing element. The one key out of hell that's going to get you out of hell is saying to yourself, two nights, straight after, right now, I love you. Okay? I can hear you. (laughs) Night-night.